Hello dear students, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Business Studies class. In today's session, let's start with Chapter 4 that is Business Service Session 1. Now, it is very much essential to understand the meaning of service. So, what is service? Service means it is the action of helping or doing work for someone. Let me give you a few examples. Purchasing ice cream from a store or eating it in a restaurant or watching a cinema in a theatre or by uh, purchasing a movie for a rent or purchasing a school bus or leasing it from a transporter. If you observe these examples, see there is a difference between purchasing and eating, purchasing and watching and purchasing and leasing. What is common in this is purchasing and another one is experience. Service is intangible means which you cannot see or touch. Only thing is you can experience. If you go to a doctor for a medical treatment, you can seek his advice only but you cannot purchase a doctor. Now let us see the nature of services. one is intangibility. See, services are intangible which you cannot see or which you cannot touch. See, you cannot taste a doctor's treatment or you cannot touch entertainment. Only you can experience it. So, for service providers, they have to consciously work on creating a desired service to the customers so that the customers they get favorable experience. See treatment by a doctor it should always be a favorable experience. So this is intangibility. Intangibility means services cannot be touched. Second is inconsistency. What is inconsistency? Inconsistency means not staying the same throughout. That we call it as inconsistency. And one day it is See, services have to be performed differently each time. And different customers, they will have different tastes or different demands or different experiences or different expectations. See, different customers, they will have different demands and expectations. Obobri customers so one another demand martare or give one another expectations. So the service providers they have to take this as an opportunity and they have to alter according to the needs and wants of the customers. So customers ke hing beko hange our service na or change mark altar beko. For example, a beauty parlor. If you go to a parlor or a saloon, or ye la customers ko one day tara perform a la service. So bere bere customers to bere bere tara treatment de rata. So other prakara or alter marta hook that. So that is inconsistency. So one day tara service provide mark ke agal. Third is inseparability. The most important characteristic of service is simultaneous production and consumption. So this makes production and consumption of services seem to be inseparable. See, Ivaga, for example, if a car manufacturer yavaglo agirate, adu customers ki in yavaglo talpate. So customers who are car na togundu or organic service provide madubeku, adalan amel barate. So car manufacturer madak takshna immediately customers ke car talpala. So that is in case of goods. But when it comes to service, for example, ATM. ATM means, you know, what is an ATM? ATM means automated teller machine. So ATM may replace clerk. But the presence of customer is a must. You know what ATM do? You know, you can withdraw cash or you can deposit check. But at the same time, presence of customer is also very much essential in case of service providing. So inseparability means service provider, customer, Iburno, Bere Bere Madake, Agala. So Yavaga simultaneous Yavaga produce agate, Avaglene consume kuda agate. So that is inseparability. Next is inventory.
inventory less inventory means stock or to store services cannot be stored L like in case of goods goods you can store but you cannot store service for a future period services are perishable see services has to be provided when customer asks for it and you cannot provide service earlier or you cannot consume those service at a future date or a later date see for example a railway ticket you can store it but the uh, railway journey will be experienced only when the railways provides it you can only store the railway ticket but the journey what you experience you will travel in a train only when railways provide you to travel so that is inventory less you cannot store those service next is involvement see one of the most important characteristics of service is the participation of the customer in the service delivery process here the customer has an opportunity to get the service modified according to the requirements customers ke heng beko hange service na provide martare so that is involvement involvement or the presence of the customer is very much essential when there is no customer there is no question of providing any service so these are the nature of services intangibility inconsistency inseparability inventory and involvement now let us see the difference between goods and services in this table you can see on the basis of nature service it is an activity or a process see service means watching a movie in a cinema hall but in case of goods it is a physical object goods is a physical object for example video cassette of a movie so it has got its physical presence but in case of service you are experiencing a, a movie in a cinema theater so this is the first difference on the basis of nature next is on the basis of type services are heterogeneous heterogeneous means different in kind obbobrike onnond tara service na kodbekagutte ellarigunu onde tara service na provide madakke agala but goods are homogeneous is of same kind goods means it is the same for everyone so that is heterogeneous homogeneous next is intangibility you know services are intangible you cannot feel you cannot touch for example uh, doctor's treatment but goods are tangible you can see for example medicine medicine is a physical object you can see so this is the difference of the basis of intangibility next is inconsistency i already explained this what is inconsistency different customers will have different demands for the service for example mobile service and in case of goods different customers getting standardized demands fulfilled again for example mobile phones so services which they give for mobile it is quite different bere bere orge bere bere tara services bekagirutte but in case of mobile phones different customers getting standardized demand fulfilled like for example phone anta idre ellarigu onde tara of course adralli bere bere models irutte but obbrige on tara ishta agutte anta avaru obbrige separate agi phone maadkodakke agala next is inseparability see simultaneous production and consumption for example eating ice cream in a restaurant so you are experiencing eating ice cream in a restaurant and the service is provided by the restaurant and in case of goods separation of production and consumption when you go to a store and when you purchase ice cream ice cream na yavaglo maadittirtara nee adanna yavaglo consume maadtira so that is a difference on the basis of inseparability next is inventory you know that services cannot be uh, kept in stock that is for example experience of a train journey when you travel in a train you experience the journey but in case of goods it can be kept in stock for example train journey ticket it has got its physical presence next is uh, involvement here participation of the customers at the time of service delivery is very much essential see for example self service in a fast food joint see there are so many uh, fast food uh, joints or restaurants where self service is available so in those cases presence of customer is a must but involvement at the time of delivery is not possible example manufacturing a vehicle in case of goods when a company is manufacturing a vehicle or a car or a bike presence of customer is not necessary so these are the uh, basic difference between goods and services next topic is types of services first 
next one is business services. Business services are those services which are conducted by business. Business services are those services which are used by business organization for the conduct of their activities. To conduct the uh, business activities, even business also provide service. For example, insurance, banking, transportation, warehousing and communication service. See, bank also provides service to its customers by accepting deposits and lending money and in case of insurance also it covers risk and uh, transportation warehousing and communication service like you know postal and telecom so all these are services business services so which are offered by a uh, business people so this is business services second is social services Social service and you know, see social services may be a few social goals to improve the standard of living of the weaker sections of the society or to provide educational services to the children or to provide health care and hygienic conditions especially in slum areas etc. All these are considered as social service. If you have weaker sections in the society, you can help them, education, health care, hygienic condition especially in slum areas so all these are considered as social service so the social service are basically it is uh, managed by uh, NGOs that is non-government organization and also uh, by some uh, government agencies next is personal service Personal services are those services which are experienced differently by different customers. See, and these personal services, it cannot be consistent in nature. And one day, thara services na provide mada ke agal. And these personal services, it depends upon the uh, taste and preferences of the customers and demand and expectations of the customer. Uh, for example, uh, tourism, uh, recreational uh, services, restaurant, etc. For example, if you go to a restaurant, you may order a dosa or you may order idli or some other person may order something else. So, it depends upon the demand and expectation of a particular customer. So, serve personal service, pretty over customers, very, very experience. So, these are the different types of services. And I hope you have understood today's session. Thank you.